Hey guys, I hope this message finds you guys all well. My name is Isis, for those of you who don't know me. I also took Mr. Jones' class last year. And I'm here to kind of give you some advice and tip points on what you should know before going into this exam to kind of make you feel a little bit more prepared and calm about it because I know that it can be very nerve wracking. And so I wrote them down in a journal and I'm gonna be looking down just to kind of reference what I had just because I wanna make sure that I get everything across in this video to you so that you're prepared. And so I wanted to start off by saying that you should definitely find a quiet space to take the exam in. I'm saying this because it's very important for you to be focused and not have any distractions around you so that you're able to do very well on this exam. With that being said, that means that you, shall, you should also let your family members know that you will be taking a very important exam that if you were to pass it and do very, very well on it, you could potentially even be saving up money in college, which is definitely something you wanna do because who doesn't wanna save up money? And second, um, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys have practiced the practice demo, but if you haven't, I strongly urge you to. If you have already, um, I would also tell you to do it also the day, the day of the exam on the device that you're gonna be testing in. And that's just because you wanna avoid any technical difficulties that you could potentially have while taking this exam. Um, I know that my friends experience a lot of technical difficulties just because they practice the demo probably like a week or two in advance. And um, on, the day of the ex of, and on the day of the exam, there were some technical difficulties regarding you having to go to your settings on your iPhone and change some things. So just to avoid all of that, I would recommend you practicing the demo the day of the exam, maybe like an hour before you actually log in to take the exam. Um, with that also being said, um, I know that in the demo, the waiting period before you want to take the exam is very short. On the day of the exam, it's going to feel very, very long. It's actually about 25 minutes or so. And I would say that you should definitely use that time to prepare yourself and definitely organize yourself so that you don't have anything to worry about once you start taking this exam. Because once you start taking this exam, the clock is going to run and there isn't anything for you to stop it, you know? And so things that you could do to prepare yourself would be um, having your APID um, on your response with along with your initials and your page number just so that you already have that ready and you're able to go straight into answering your question and you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you're writing it, if you're writing a response on a separate sheet of paper, you have to remember that it has to be a regular size paper. So you definitely know how um, the SSOPs look. It's like, I don't know the exact measures, but do you, you know when you ask for a separate sheet of paper from a teacher and they'll give you that line paper? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like. Um, also, if you have any technical difficulties, do not panic. That is completely normal. You have to be mindful that you are taking an exam in a situation that is very completely different. The environment is completely different. And um, that means that because you're not in control of it, you shouldn't feel at fault for it. You have to also remember that you also have the opportunity to retake it. So you should definitely not panic. In the case that you do end up having technical difficulties, um, I read yesterday on College Board that they're gonna be sending out an email and giving you the opportunity to upload those responses on the day of the exam. And in case that you don't get that email or anything, just make sure that you reach out to your administrator and let them know that you were having technical difficulties and that you're gonna reschedule. But that is completely okay. Do not worry about that because at least you have the opportunity to take the exam again and you could possibly even do better since you're gonna have more time to kind of practice or prepare for it. Um, and if there's one thing that I really want you to take from this video, it would be that there is no excuse such as you running out of time. And I say that because I had to learn this a very hard way, especially when it comes to writing and it being time. But there is no, no excuse of you running out of time in an exam. The only thing there is, is you not utilizing your time effectively. And I'm saying this because I definitely think that you should be aware of you of your time in the exam and it running. So say for instance, um, you know how if you practice the demo, you know this already, but the timer is gonna turn red. And if you know for a fact that you wasting your time and you keep on writing and things like that and the timer is already below five minutes, and if you know that it's not gonna make any difference in your score, then you should definitely stop, take the picture, upload your picture or upload your response and end it there. But in the case that you do feel like, oh my God, that one sentence is gonna make this one difference. I'm just saying it's very risky, but if you feel like you're gonna have to, you, it's gonna affect your response in a very good way, then do so. 
and that's kind of it that's those are my tips um i want to say that i want to wish you good luck but i know that you guys don't need the luck just because you guys have been preparing for this exam for a very long time therefore you have been giving the tools and the material that you need and you have the potential to pass this exam and so that's kind of it bye <laughs>